And Brownlow medalist and South Fremantle legend Brad Hardy thinks he knows why Dockers skipper Matthew Pavlich has yet to live up to his superstar status this season. He's shooken. You're better than that, Pav. You, you know, he's shooken. He's, uh, it's what about me? Uh, it isn't fair. He must be a leader of men. Adrian Barrich, 7 News. And Fremantle coach Mark Harvey joins me live. Mark, the positives first. The five-goal fight back to hit the front was very encouraging. Yeah, it was. And uh, the fact that we were in the game um, throughout the course of the game for long periods of time was something that we were looking uh, forward to, to seeing from a, a group of uh, younger players. Yeah. And Stephen Hill, he showed a bit. You persevered with him and you were re rewarded. Congratulations for that. Yeah, well, we, that's where we're at. We have to keep uh, showing stability in some of our younger players and giving them experience in particularly positions of, on the ground where we think that they can hopefully exploit the game. And, you know, him and Subin and Nibbertson and Palmer and those sort of guys um, brought and played on the weekend. So, you know, we're not steering away from the fact that um, we need to improve ourselves. But uh, the, the experience that these guys are getting is hopefully important to us. And clearly you've decided that's where their future and your future is at by playing the young kids. Well, it is. Um, Basil, I've, I've now sort of been senior coach for 18 months and I think I've made 22 changes on the list so far. So most of the guys are in their first and second year of transition, so that takes time. Those young kids need leadership. Are you happy with the leadership that Matthew Pavlich is providing? Uh, look, I think um, Matthew himself, uh, along with the team, is working in some form. I mean, he had sort of five shots on goal and, uh, uh, you know, quite regularly he has to put up with, uh, you know, the two or three players dropping back on him if he's playing in the forward line and then if he goes to stop he's just more often than not he's got an outnumbered situation that he has to beat so uh, we just need to support have a bit better in certain aspects of our game. A lot of people think Paul Duffield was unlucky to be dropped last week. He mm -hmm. did respond in the waffle. Was it the right call Mark? Yeah well when you see the way he responded you have to say yes. Uh, so hence um, uh, you know, got, players need to learn uh, what's required to play at this level and Paul's just gone through one of those phases and you know, he's, he'll be right up there in selection this week along with a guy like Roger Hayden who hopefully can uh, add to our creativeness down back. Yeah, that's terrific. Nothing to lose against the Saints this week. We wish you all the best, Mark. Good on you. Thanks a lot. Mark Harvey. Collingwood's heat.